Okay, welcome back to another episode of myself, Luke. So I hope you had a fantastic day. So I'm coming to you a little bit later than usual. Been very busy um, working on a website and with work uh, this uh, past day. So yeah, this is coming a bit late tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get uh, an episode done over the lunchtime. If not, it will be uh, Friday uh, morning or early afternoon. So in today's episode, if you're interested in Gala Games, I'm going to go over not specifically the uh, games um, on Gala. Okay, it's Web3 Gaming. There's a lot of games that you can play on Web3 in Gala Games, uh, different categories uh, that you can be interested in to play. NFTs, etc., etc. So, I'm going to go over the current price and where Gala, uh, the token, could go uh, next in this bull cycle. So, if you're interested, if you're an investor in Gala, then this is for you. Stick to the very end. We'll also look at a market cap calculator that I use just to see to put the the coins or the tokens that you're interested in into perspective. So. I'll explain that uh, a little bit later. Um, so yeah, just jumping over into uh, crypto bubbles um, for the day, everything is pretty much in the red. There's a few things in the green uh, for the week. It's pretty okay. I mean, Bitcoin has been going um, all over the place, sideways, um, really. So um, yeah, altcoins are continuing to uh, have their uh, rally. And yesterday I spoke about uh, an altcoin season, if the Bitcoin dominance uh, does go back into the 40-45% range, then we're going to see a, a huge um, altcoin uh, season. So just jumping over into the Bitcoin price, so we've got this symmetrical triangle. Yesterday uh, when I posted the video, I was talking about the, the technicals here uh, pointing um, towards an 84k Bitcoin, but I did say in my video that my gut feeling uh, just feels that we wouldn't break past the last uh, all-time high of around $74,000, $7,300. So I just felt that we're too close to the, the halving. And as you can see over the last day, um, two days, 48 hours, um, we're back inside the symmetrical triangle. We did touch the support here We've bounced off it and so we're basically a few days away it's really coiling up here if you look at the bollinger bands on the lower time frames we're really coiling up for a big big move in my opinion so of course this is um the bullish this symmetrical triangle we did uh, when i say bullish it's because we broke out but we didn't um we came back we thought we we're gonna have a retest of this uh support now it's resistance and we've hit this uh, support now. So we just keep going sideways. Basically, Bitcoin doesn't know what to do. Uh, that's the market sentiment right now. So that's another reason why the altcoins uh, have been uh, rallying because Bitcoin is boring. People start investing in alternative coins. So where could we go to next? Well, basically, if you're trading this, just wait for the breakout. It's as simple as that. Maybe if you're uh, going to go short, then just wait for the breakdown of around probably 66,800, just below that. Then you can put your uh, short position around these levels. So let's just imagine it's around here. Uh, you want to put your stop loss at 1% and then you can trade this down. I've just put it here because this is the Fibonacci retracement. That would be a, a 20 to 1 risk to reward ratio, of course. We've got some um, support here as well at 62K uh, uh, here. So in my opinion, if we do go below uh, 62K, then we're going to go straight back down to the $51,600 level. So that's if we break this channel here. Um, then you could go straight into a, a short position if you wish. I wouldn't do that. Again, none of this is financial advice. I don't trade. Uh, I don't short in a bull market. So... If we are to go long, then as you can see, yesterday I put my long position above this um, red uh, resistance uh, just here. That's because I don't think we're going to go above it. But if we do go above it with sufficient volume around the 73,900, 
then you could go in for a long and would most likely go up to that target of $84,000. So I wouldn't um, personally put a trade in here, even if we break this line of uh, resistance, because then the next major one is very, very close and it's uh, the all time high. And personally with the, the um, halving approaching, I just don't see it happening. So I do expect a lot of volatility and for some reason, I just think we're going to have a giant pullback. Um, but let me know in the comments section below what you think. Do you think we're going to have a huge pullback uh, to these lower price points? Again, the Fibonacci retracement, looking at the 51K, the 44 and the 37K. Or do you think we're going to go much lower? So just be careful if you're trading this, especially with that um, Bitcoin halving on the horizon. We are just over one week away from the Bitcoin halving and for sure during that event I will be posting very frequently on Twitter, on YouTube um, and talking about this. It's very, very interesting to see what happens from now until that point. So again, let me know in the comments what you think. And just finally, so going over into uh, Gala uh, Games. So if you're interested in uh, Gala, especially the token, the price uh, right now for Gala is at six uh, cents. The reason why I'm talking about it is because we've had a 7% um, a rise. It's not much, but over the year for 42%. And, you know, I like uh, gaming. Gala was one of the old timers that I had at the beginning about four years ago. And it made me um, a little bit of uh, profit. It's probably not my favorite one to go into uh, this cycle, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, I would probably go into the ones I've spoken about before. Um, it is obviously in the top uh, 10 uh, gala in the crypto gaming and it sits at, it sits at 62, uh, 60 second uh, on uh, the all time of, uh, of the, the coin market cap. So for me personally, uh, like I've mentioned before, Immutable X, uh, Beam, um, even Axie Infinity and you've got Shrapnel, um, I've spoken about Alluvium uh, before. Even Wilder World is a big one that I think will do really, really good. But So the reason why I'm talking about Gala is just simply because I just saw um, it doing not too bad uh, during uh, this period. And um, yeah, I like what they're doing. The many, many games uh, on uh, this uh, the Gala uh, network uh, on this chain. And uh, in the past, obviously, they had some uh, issues, but I just, yeah, we've had this leg up and I believe that we could go back to uh, the last all time high and beyond. I'm not going to give a, a crazy uh, price point. Let me know what you think, where you think Gala Games is going to go. Um, but just looking at this, uh, I was looking at the technicals of Gala and I drew the Fibonacci retracement from the all time high to the very bottom. And the Fibonacci retracement was pointing to these three uh, levels of uh, resistance or basically where Gala could go next. So the first one is at 33 cents, second 42 cents, and then we have 52 cents or around 53 cents. So if we were to uh, jump up to these levels of 53 to 55 cents, then that would be uh, of course, a nice 10x. So I do expect Gala to do a 10x, um, even more than that. I think Gala could easily do a 15x. If we were to do a 15x, then we would come right back up to uh, the last all-time high. So personally for me, I think we're going to go above uh, $1 uh, for Gala, maybe even as high as $2 uh, this cycle. On my previous video, um, I think I was speaking... I think I spoke about like five to ten dollars, but after reviewing it, uh, looking at it again, uh, I don't think we would probably go that high. But I mean, even if we just go to the last all time high, that would be if you're trading personally, I wouldn't trade altcoins, I think it's too risky. Uh, that's a 1376 uh, percent rise from the price point now. And I can easily see this uh, thing during this uh, bull cycle breaking past its all-time high. Just to be objective, 
maybe looking at the Fibonacci, uh, the Fibonacci retracement levels at 33, 42, 52. Maybe if you do um, buy this coin or if you have it, then when we get past these levels, maybe start selling your positions slowly. Not everything, because like I said, I think we could easily go to the all-time high and in past $1 towards $1.80, possibly $2 this bull cycle. So these are just like a, a safety net. As soon as you get past these levels, then maybe start you know, selling 20, 30% at a time and then as soon as we get past the all-time high that of course you do what you want you have to do your own research um, but it's just interesting looking at these um, these price points for Gala Games because Gala Games right now is six cents right now very cheap in my opinion it was obviously a lot cheaper in the last couple of years because we went down to around two cents so my opinion I think Gala will do really well this cycle we've already had a, a leg up um, we've had a rally uh, from the low here up here was almost yeah it was around 243 percent of course we've come back down so uh, over for the year we've had uh, almost a 50 percent rise so yeah so if we do go to uh, 52 cents that would be a price rise of almost 800 percent so if you're if you are going to use leverage on buy a bit or whatever use a 10x then you can work that out yourself i mean that would be an astronomical amount of gains personally i wouldn't um, leverage trade altcoins I think it's too risky and usually altcoins they pump hundreds of percent even thousands of percent uh, anyway so Gala Games is uh, at the like I said the 60 um, second is it 63rd uh, in the market cap and it's worth uh, the market cap is worth 1.8 billion so if we were to do a 10x then we would be sitting at uh, 18 billion and what you can do if you want to i use this it's coinguides.org where you can measure so this was the all-time high of gala and basically you have it circulating supply and so its market cap has to go to 25 billion in order for it to go to 84 cents so just to put that into perspective what coin right now is at 25 billion let's go over to a coin market cap and uh, 25 billion it would put it at the price of dogecoin so the market cap sorry so the market cap would be the same market cap as dogecoin now of course in the top 10 like bitcoin probably do a 3x uh, to what three three uh, trillion uh, ethereum will probably do a, a 5x from here the 15k and then the rest of the top 10 will probably do a 5 to 10x so lower than that going into the 20s and the 30s they will probably do a 10 to 20x and so yeah i mean if we go to gala games is at the 63rd position um 60 second sorry position could it do a 10x sure it could it could easily do a 10x and go up to that uh, 25 billion uh, market cap and the top 10, top 20 will probably do a 10, 15 X. So my opinion, uh, the lower you go down, the more X's um, you're gonna you're gonna see. So for me, Gala Games, it could even do a 20 X um, or 25 maximum, um, in my opinion. So that would mean that we're gonna see if we do a 20 X, then we're gonna see an over for sure one dollar um, Gala uh, token. So. Yeah, just uh, looking at this, so basically in a nutshell, these Fibonacci retracement levels, just be uh, wary of these. Maybe if, you're, if, you've, got a, if you've got your bags uh, of Gala, you know, if you're buying bags and bags of it, then great. If you're dollar cost averaging, then perfect. Um, just my opinion, not financial advice, of course. When we start getting past these Fibonacci levels, then maybe start selling some of the positions. But in my opinion, I do see us going to the all-time high and maybe over into uh, past the one dollar level so again let me know what you think i think gala games uh is definitely here to stay the building continue to building um really interesting web3 gaming uh games that maybe you play so let me know what games that you like on the gala chain and what your price prediction is um for 
uh, gala game. So I just wanted to quickly uh, talk about that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below where you think gala is going to go. Also, going back to Bitcoin, where you think Bitcoin is heading to next. So I'll leave a link in the description, um, or maybe you can just check that out. So coinguys.org, um, if you want to, um, you know, just put the coin into perspective, um, instead of being like a complete moon boy and this coin's going to go to 10 or $100, um, always look, in my opinion, one piece of advice is uh, check the market cap, because um, it I mean, it is uh, vital to look at that first before starting thinking like this coin is going to go to ten, twenty dollars, or whatever. So, it's just a small piece of advice. Always look at the market cap, and the other coins just to put things into perspective instead of um, being a moon boy, uh, etc. So, yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you the next time with another video. Bye bye.